हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम विक्रम फ्रॉम इजी ऑन टेक्नोलॉजीज वेलकम टू माय स्प्रिंग फ्रेमवर्क प्रोजेक्ट वर्क सीरीज इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो सेशन आई डिस्कस्ड अबाउट डीएओ इंप्लीमेंटेशन एंड इन दिस करंट वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द सर्विस लेयर एंड हाउ इट इज इंप्लीमेंटेड नाउ लेट्स हैव ए लुक एट द आर्किटेक्चर वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट दिस आर्किटेक्चर लेट्स हैव ए क्विक रिविजन so this is the dao interface we have created there in my previous video sessions and we provided the implementation using uh, spring jdbc template so this is the interface and implemented here with the help of jdbc template i'm going to provide i'm going to work on the service layer service layer is a business logic which is taking the help from dao to complete that business logic and it can also write some customized task and uh, this can communicate to the database as well as it can communicate to some different resources like uh, sms email such kind of business logic can be provided in the service so services are representing the business logic in your project and if you have already done that task in dao service can reuse the uh, reuse the operation from the dao so services are taking the help from dao and then implementing the business logic which is required by the client right so let me start working around this service interfaces then implementation so let me close this and now before moving ahead let's have a quick overview about the requirement so these are the requirement and these requirements will be provide even done by the services these are actually your business operations and these business operations are implemented by the services so these are the things i am going to work so let's start so we have got here one service package and i am going to create a interface here so as we have two entities here user and contact so i can create here two services we also discussed about this matter in, in the architecture session and now here i'm going to create this is my con uh, user service this is user service interface all user related business logic will be provided here so what are the user related business logic you can quickly check from the list so the application is a multi user application this is correct so there is nothing to uh, write in the business logic because when it is a web application naturally it is a multi user application right and uh, there will be multiple roles no problem user registration is required so now i'm going to provide a method here so public void user registration will be register and uh, this will register a user so what we required here we required here user object to register the user so this is done this is the do domain class and now what we required here we required what else we required okay we required login so we required login so this is public public and uh, login operation right so when user is successfully logged in we'll get the user object as return value here and uh, the method will be so just say it's a simple login method this will check the login no implementation right because this is a interface and we require two details here which is this is login name it's your username and the second one is password will ask for two things from the user login name and password and on the basis of these two things i will uh, the logic will do the authentication and then return the successful user and important thing is if the authentication is failed will return here null right so let me write here small comment if we forget this can help us so write this small comment here so the method handle login operation this is actually your authentication authentication job so the method handles login operation using given 
credentials and uh, using given credentials it returns user object when success and null when failed so when authentication is failed we'll get here null right so this is important note we should always do it's a good habit and there is one more case we have considered here uh, the account can be blocked the user account can be blocked or active so if the user account is blocked we will get one exception here so I'm going to create one exception package here and uh, inside that I will create the exception so I'm going to create user defined exception and user defined exception will be this so this is user blocked exception I will use here and to make the exception we need to inherit the exception class so this is the exception just like my dog is an animal relation and now we can use here two constructors so user blocked exception if you are using this constructor uh, there won't be any um, error message but you can use one more constructor here so if you want to take some error detail you can use this constructor error description you can pass here and this error description will be supplied to the parent class okay so I have got the constructor and uh, you can use let me describe this also call this just a moment creates user object without error description okay and uh, the second one is with error description so this is with okay this is the only difference right it's all done and uh, now I'm going to throw here this exception throw uh, user blocked exception right this is correct so now I'm going to add one annotation here and describe this so the method will take two values if authentication is successful we'll get the user object if authentication authentication is failed we'll get here null if the user account is blocked the method will throw one user blocked exception so let me describe this when user account this this will be thrown when user account is blocked right so we have multiple cases here when user account is blocked when user account is blocked and exception will be thrown by this method so this is the description I'm using and login name password will be uh, usually taken from the login form and which is given to this right so this is done now next method will be this is uh, registration is done I'm not describing the registration because it is simple and you will pass one user object and then this method will take the will will utilize the DAO and do the registration part in fact it's a good idea to describe this one also so just take a look here the method handle the user registration task right so the user object the new user detail the new user detail as user object right it's all done and what else we required here look at this one by one you can check user registration is done user login is done there is nothing to work on the logout 
and these are the contact related operations I will implement in I will provide in different service these are all contact related task no problem now user user can edit the profile or uh, user and admin can edit the profile right but it is out of my scope so I'm not going to implement this export import out of my scope admin can see all registered users so this can work so I'm going to provide this in fact this is part of my scope so uh, admin can see all users so admin can see all users here just a moment import from the list and user list get user list this is the method this will return all the users and uh, I can describe here call this method to get list of registered users it's a good idea now I'm going to check one other thing okay there is a provision to active and block the user okay so this is important so one more method I'm going to implement public void and uh, change login status this method will active or block change login status and uh, login status will be your which for you which user you want to change the login status the user ID so for this user ID will change the login status and what will be the status either it will be one one for active two for blocked so you can use this status this is the value login login status so one will represent here active and two will represent block so let me write a small description this method this method change the user login status base for details passed as argument so this user will be either active or blocked by this method right so one important thing I can do here because it is difficult to remember the status what is one what is two so I can do one small job here I can declare here constants so let me declare here constants so this is integer by default these are public static final so this is public and this is my constant value so I can in fact write this public static final and this is integer value sorry it's integer and this is uh, login status right so this is login status and login status active active means one and login status blogged blogged means two right so this is important this will be useful so when uh, you are passing one the status will be uh, the the uh, will consider that as a active and two represents blocked okay so this is my service anything else we have to do for the user here so almost all the operations we have done this is the only operation I have skipped from my service because this is not in my scope probably in coming uh, series in coming videos I will complete that but it is out of my scope and I'm not going to do it now so and uh, all these operations I have covered in my service right so this is done for this session in my next video i will talk about the implementation of this service so thank you very much for now and don't forget to subscribe my channel okay thanks a lot and see you in next video